my name is Delia Folk, and this is my mom, Allison Brun. And today we are with Jackie Cohen of My Story Jewelry. Jackie worked on Wall Street for many years and then left the industry feeling a bit unfulfilled. And so she took some time to travel. She went to Africa, India, and Israel. And once she came back, her family has a jewelry business, and so she was working a bit with them mm -hmm. and decided that she wanted to become a mother. So she started trying IVF and ended up adopting a beautiful baby girl. And she, to celebrate the birth, mm -hmm. she made a piece of jewelry and was getting all these compliments on it. So actually the birth of her daughter around the same time the birth of her brand, My Story, which is all those compliments led to starting her brand. And Jackie and I met when I was on the buying team at Barney's and yeah. she was one of my vendors. Yeah. So we are so excited to talk to her today. always been very um, like proud of our heritage. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a very small, very tight Cuban community and um, we spoke, grew up speaking Spanish. Um, we grew up eating rice and beans and fried bananas and plantains and Cuban mm -hmm. sandwiches. Uh, every Jewish holiday we'd fly down to Miami for the Jewish holidays and spend with my grandparents. Um, he was one of the founders of a temple there called Cuban Hebrew Congregation, mm -hmm. and um, Julia obviously was not born Jewish, <laughs> so there's a ceremony in Judaism called a mikvah, and much like a baptism, mm -hmm. where they get dunked in the water, so mm -hmm. um, I knew, I, I didn't necessarily think, oh, she has to have one because I'm raising her Jewish, so what difference does it make? But my mom felt strongly about it. Mm -hmm. And um, after my grandfather passed away, he missed meeting Julia by just a few days, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. he, he knew that she was born, but he never got to meet her because we were flying down in Miami on a Thursday and he passed on Sunday, so wow. he never met her. But I thought, well, this is where I should have it. This is yes. like this is our second home, and my grandfather would be very proud yes. to have it here. Yes. So we had a ceremony for her called the mikvah in Miami, and we did the, the dipping of the water in the ocean. So everyone went oh, to the me. ocean. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Oh, that's really so beautiful. yeah, it was really it was exactly like it was supposed to be, yeah. and it was really beautiful. So I just think again like. Cuban heritage is all about color and yeah. sort of, yeah, and exactly. a lot of, be. yes, exactly, and a lot of, um, I think the way, the style I dress now too is so much more fun, where when I was it timeless, it was much more classic, right. and so now I have that opportunity to show color and flair yes. and fun things, so I think I express myself through all that. Yeah. And let's talk about what was the first piece of jewelry that you designed for my story. So it's the one thing I wear every day. Um, so it's called the Julia Ring, and you guys can find it on my website at mystoryfinejewelry.com. And it's still my number one seller. So when Julia was born, I wanted something unique to celebrate her. When she was born, I was 42 and a half. And I just thought, well, I don't want the little initial that everyone has, or, you know, often they have a disc with the kid's initial, and I've like, seen that for like 20 years, and everybody makes it. So I thought, well, I want something a little more understated that's not necessarily screening mommy jewelry. So mm -hmm. I made a simple ring. Like I said, bands were really my number one category in mm -hmm. bridal. So a skinny little band, and I put Julia's baguette um, birthstone in it. And then I wore it, and I would be selling our engagement rings and wedding bands and whatnot, and all my customers would say, oh, I love that ring. And it was a simple ring. Mm -hmm. And then I would tell them the story of my journey to become a mom, and inevitably they were hugging, kissing, crying, everyone's like, you know, <laughs> that's so great. I love well, can you make all 12 colors for the store? And I was like, 
Oh, <laughs> sure. Like I was selling without even having an right. idea of, of putting agree. something into production, yeah. which was really super cool because it happened right organically. Right <laughs> yes. <laughs> How much are they? I'm like, I don't know, but I'll find out. <laughs> How has motherhood influenced your creativity? So I would say that it's maybe, again, a little bit more fearless mm -hmm. um, and whimsical, where before I might have been a little bit more straight arrow and like afraid to sort of color outside the lines to mm -hmm. sort of make an analogy. But I think that um, being a mom is like, everything is coloring outside the lines because nothing is perfect and mm -hmm. you have to go with the flow when things are unexpected. So I think that it's made me a little bit more um, free to express myself mm -hmm. and to put things together, especially that I want to wear. Mm -hmm. um, or that I think, wow, I want to hand this down to Julia one day because I think yeah. that she would really love it. And I think it's been fun also because, you know, I make things now that my mom would want to wear. So, right. you know, it's my mom yeah, has a stack course. and it has her um, eternity band and then it has her ring says Awella because our family is mm -hmm. Spanish. So it says Awella and then it has a rainbow band and I feel like it's fun designing for people that are all different ages yeah, and that uh, it can kind of fit anybody. Mm -hmm. So I have young girls that might wear the badass yeah. ring and then I have my mom who wears an Awella ring and it's right. you know the same exact ring, it just says two different things and means two different things to different people. And so. how important do you think social media and Instagram is for your business? Massive. Yeah. Be like all her sales, yeah, so I, many sales from that. Or like I can now I can like link in bio, yeah, or yeah, yeah. In, you know swipe up to yeah, buy. Right. Or, so I just think it's it's fascinating and on the the consumer side and even stores stores have found me like I mean amazing yeah. stores that everyone wants to be in have found mm -hmm. me through Instagram. The proceeds of the jewelry, tell us about your favorite okay. cherry. Okay, so um, because Julia was adopted and because I know the cost of adoption and just the, the sadness that goes along with it of maybe not being able to have a baby on your own if that mm -hmm. was what you wanted or some people mm -hmm. maybe just always wanted to adopt. Um, and then the cost and then the heartbreak of what if what if you can't or that feeling at the end of your rope where you're like I can't do this anymore I don't have enough money or I just spent 40 grand how am I going to afford another 10 grand or 20 grand or 30 when does it end right. is there a light at the end of the tunnel right. and so I knew once my story started taking off that I wanted to get involved in a charity mm -hmm. and so I met the founder of a, a foundation called helpusadopt.org her name is Becky Fawcett and she has two adopted children and we just instantly like clicked and we talked and talked and talked and she was like I definitely want you to be you know part of this group and so it's been two or three years now and um, so yes a portion of my sales goes to helpusadopt.org I'm on the board of the charity and um, it's just been really exciting and really fulfilling. Okay, and what do you see as the future of My Story Jewelry? Okay, um, so I love the fact that I'm this, I feel like my brand is in its infancy, mm -hmm. and we're probably in 20-ish stores in the country, so I feel like there's so That's much true. growth that we have, and yet I'm in, I would say, the top stores that you want to be in. So right. that's pretty exciting, because I think people think, wow, you're doing great. And I'm thinking, we have so much more to go. <laughs> so, you know, I have like a five-year plan of, I think, growth mm -hmm. and continuing to grow my brand. Um, past five years, I don't think I can plan right now, but mm -hmm. I know, you know, if we are in the number one store in each sort of mm -hmm. city, you know, I'm probably only in 10 of them now, mm -hmm. if that. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like, wow, we have so much growth potential. Mm -hmm. So. I get up every morning super excited, like guns ablazing, yeah. which is, is really, it's really fun. Thank you for joining us today on The Style That Binds Us. We had a great conversation today with Jackie Cohen from My Story Jewelry. Make sure to tune back in next week to see what we have in store. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, make comments, let us know what you're interested in hearing more about. Thanks. Bye. Bye.